Mermaid Junkies, you are watching Mermaid Junkie TV, a Mermaid Junkies blueprint for how to create a life you love. So today is Thursday and we're going to talk about the physical need, which I'm going to go right into the organizing that I was talking to you about yesterday, saying that I wanted to redo um, a blog post that I had done about organizing your medicine cabinet, or I like to call mermaid arsenal. And um, the, today, Thursday, is focusing on our physical need, which is I coined um, mermaid life. So it doesn't really mean a mermaid's life. So if you're here thinking, oh, well, she's talking only about mermaids. No, it's just the metaphorical concept that I look at everything through because I am a mermaid. I'm obsessed with mermaids. I Maybe not obsessed, but I just really love mermaids. And I think that when you teach people and you teach them through a way that's exciting and enjoyable, they learn much better. And I think I learned that with having um, three children that were ADD and ADHD and not having them on medication and prescription drugs. I had to learn different ways of teaching my children through homeschool of how to make it enjoyable. So you find something that someone loves and enjoys and learning becomes so much better. Anyway, I'm getting off of the subject, but the subject is I wanted to go and show you my, my, um, my kitchen pantry that, well, it's not my pantry. I'm sorry. It's my medicine cabinet. And so I'm going to go over a couple of little things and you'll see how small it is compared to what it was like three years ago when I had, I mean, I was doing, I was on using oils, but I wasn't using oils in a, um, in a medicinal manner. I was more using them as like aromatherapy and that kind of stuff. So I know a lot about oils, but I didn't really get into the medicinal part of it until, um, you know, I joined, you know, I started learning, I had been t buying doTERRA oils for, you know, I think the company's been up and running for about five, a little over five years. And so, but I had just always dabbled in it, but then I got serious about it shortly after, um, that blog post that I had posted a couple years ago. So I'm going to show you my arsenal now compared to what it was three years ago. Okay, here. So we're going to go in here. I am going to take you into my kitchen and here, okay, guys, we are. here is my medicine cabinet now, if that's what you want to call it. Okay. This is, and I, I explained this on my blog post is this is all my doTERRA oils. So you can use those all for medicinal and aromatherapy uses. My nature dynamics, which is one of the only gummies and these are phenomenal for moms they're almost so addictive that i want to eat them like candy and that's not even a joke i've you're only supposed to have like one or two a day but it's not going to hurt if you have a bunch and then i have like our dogs um niche myself or sailor whatever you want to say and um and then so a lot of the nature's dynamics products that i have put in here i have also moved them up into these glass jars just because I love everything aesthetically pleasing to the eye because it makes a huge difference on, and then there's the bandages and then you've got all your capsules. So you can use those for your um, children because sometimes they don't like the oils. I'm going to flip the camera okay, around guys, now. So a lot of times kids don't like oils on their skin. Um, Zoe Kennedy has a real big issue with oils being on her um you know, putting them on her, even if it's on her feet. So a lot of times with her, I will give them to her internally through the capsules. And doTERRA is the only oil that almost every oil that they have, you can consume it, which I've heard so many things. Please don't send me any more hate mail or any more things that I don't know what I'm talking about because these are certified therapeutic grade oils and you can internalize them because I have for over um, five years. So it's not like I don't know what I'm talking about. I've taken wellness advocacy. I know a lot about um, oils and what they do. So it's not like I'm talking out of my rear end. I really do know what I'm talking about. So um, I don't know why I was getting onto that, but I also thought there was this really good quote. I wanted to, sh to read you guys this quote and why it's good to be organized. And it says, 
Um, it says, my external surroundings are a mirror image of my internal feelings. And I truly believe that. I think that when we are focused on having a clean and tidy home and our surroundings are pleasing to the eye and they smell nice and things are um, organized, I think it helps the whole house to work better. It's just mentally sound. I mean, it takes away stress, anxiety. It's good. Kids love it because they can rely on something that's consistent. And when you have clean surroundings, it does have an impact on your mental um, clarity. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that I didn't ramble or get a little bit off topic. And if I did, I apologize. You know how I am. I just ramble on. And so I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon. I'm yours until my next swim. Ciao.